no surprise, it's not only the EFF, it's EFF, Independence, and DA. Uh, I think these are, they are bad losers, man. If I were them, I would just embrace the outcomes of the democratic processes. If I were them, I would hold a meeting with the IEC to discuss with the IEC in detail what is the problem, so that the problem can be resolved. Of course, if it can be resolved, it must go to the electoral court. But they are, they are, they are just moaning and, and, and complaining. We don't want to focus on them. We want to focus on the victory that the ANC has scored here in the province against all odds. And we are very happy as the ANC. Are detractors trying to hide their own failures by conveniently trying to blame Jacob Zuma for everything? Look, it's not for the first time and it's not for the last time. People will continue to blame Comrade Jacob Zuma for anything. Even if they don't sleep well at night, I'm sure they will blame President Jacob Zuma. When they don't have appetite when they eat, they are going to blame him. They blame him for everything. But you know, our president is a resilient, he's a visionary, he's a hard worker, he's a, he's a humble leader and he's an elderly statesman. He understands the politics of the African National Congress and global politics so well. He must remain focused on the strategic objective of implementing the National Development Plan. He must not be worried. His movement, the ANC, has done very well nationally. He must now focus on accelerating the delivery of services until 2019, when he'll be saying goodbye to all of us for job well done by him. Okay. Um, support for the ANC has declined by some 10% according to the voter percentage. What could the reason be? I, I say to people, people must understand that every time when we go to the elections, we start from zero. All of us. It doesn't matter that the ANC is the ruling party. When we go to elections, we don't start at 70% because we got 70% in the last elections. No, we all start from zero. And the conditions under which we conduct elections after every five years will never be the same. So we must not compare bananas with apples. Of course, we must always aim high to get 100%, 90%, 80% and so on. But as the ANC, we are very happy with what we have achieved so far. The ANC remains the most popular organization in South Africa. The people still stand with the African National Congress. So it's time to celebrate as South Africa. The opposition parties may form a coalition in Rustenburg to take the municipality from the ANC. Are you shaken by that? No, no, no. It's not going to happen. There can't be any coalition in, in Rustenburg. The African National Congress is currently at 47%. We are still waiting for about 18% of the votes to be verified by the IEC. We have won all the 18 municipalities in the province, all the four districts in the municipalities. So we are very happy as a province. We are not worried about these other uh, uh, parties, but we are saying to them, now that you have not made it, independent, service delivery, EFF, whoever, Come to the ANC. Come back home. Let's join hands. If you've got issues, raise them in the ANC. Let's resolve them, unite the movement, and build a much bigger, stronger African National Congress. Because they can't defeat the ANC. Thank you. Well, that was the provincial chairperson of the ANC, Mr. Supra Mahomapelo. Back to you in studio.